Okay, so I recently ran into an issue with uh, some more documents that contain merge fields. Uh, these documents are used within an application. Um, some data is retrieved from the database and the data replaces all of these merge fields in this document. This particular document, uh, because it has these two text boxes, caused some issues. Uh, this document was originally created in uh, Microsoft Word 2007 or possibly earlier. And the way that merge fields were handled or were saved um, during that time changed in Word 2010. All of these merge fields are saved as a simple field. And starting in, in Word 2010, they were started being saved as a field character. And there was a, a begin and an end tag. And the code that I've got in uh, my application uses the older style simple characters. Uh, there is a mechanism in there that will go through and it'll change the new field char types to a simple field. Uh, but because of these text boxes in here, uh, it was causing some issues and I was completely losing these text boxes. So um, if you have a situation where you need to edit a Word document, kind of do it behind the scenes, uh, XML level behind the scenes so you can determine exactly what format things are going in. Uh, this is how you do it. So uh, just to show you the difference between these two files. So this is the original file and the program wanted a, a new merge field here. And we'll just call it facility email. And then to make a uh, formula field or some some other field, uh, you hit Control F9 and it'll wrap it in these curly braces. So I need to right click on this, edit the field and set the type. And I want this to be a merge field and I'll give it the same name. And I'll click this checkbox just to prove preserve formatting. So now we've got this new merge field in here. So, so it doesn't overwrite my old format, original layout. I'm going to save this as and just put it in my demo here. And I'm just going to call it dash new. All right, so This is our new file. It's got the email in there. So if we look at our original file, we can see there's no email between telephone and contact. So the interesting thing about uh, Word document files is they are basically just an archive of XML documents that are packaged together and then given a different file extension. So this .docx is just a basically a zip folder that's been renamed and then Microsoft Word knows how to open that and translate it. So um, you can do a, do this several different ways. You can go in and rename it and just change it to a .zip and it's going to ask you if you want to uh, change the file extension, hit yes. And now if you open this, uh, you can see in here we've got a content types XML. Your actual document is here. If you don't have, or if you happen to have either WinRAR or 7-zip, uh, you can actually just click directly on the, the Word document file and open the archive that way. And you can see it's the same thing. This is the new one. And we had this fold, this zip folder that was the old document. So uh, let me show you the difference between these two. So I'm going to drill down into here. 
and this is the new file and I'm just going to call this new see if it'll let me change it and then I'll open that and so this is the, what the XML looks like for a Word document so you can see we've got different fields like this is the actual document node and then here we open the body node and then WPs or paragraphs and uh, WP, WPPR is a paragraph properties and then we've got styles and text colors and so this is a Word document is just an, an XML document that's translated and displayed by Microsoft Word. Um, so this is a new document. Let me get the original document open. And so you can see because the zip file it's it's compressed. Uh, this is in a read only state because of my little gray icon here where this one I can actually update. Um, the new document I opened through 7-zip so that may be something to consider. Um, the other thing that you can do is um, this one you can extract it and I'll just put it in the same folder. And so from the extracted folder, if I open this, uh, you can see this one has blue, so I can actually edit this one. So um, so if we compare these two, and I know this is kind of difficult to look at, you know, if you have a document that isn't have any sensitive information in it, you can go to something like uh, Code Beautify and actually beautify that so it steps it out in kind of the tree format. And that's a lot easier to read. Comparing, we know that we added our new field after the facility phone and before the contact. And if we look at this merge field, we can see that it is in a field simple tag. And we can see the same thing here. Our facility phone is in a field simple tag. Now if we look at the new document and we find the facility phone, we can see since we saved it now in a newer version of Microsoft Word, our merge field is actually within an in string text tag it's within a run tag that's within a field char tag. Um, because of this new layout that, that the newer version of Word uses, um, the edits that I was making to the document was causing issues when it was trying to populate those, those fields within the application. So um, what I ended up doing is I know that this facility phone is you know basically the same exact thing that I need um, it starts with the telephone header and if we just go up to before that there should be a paragraph tag and here we go so I just copied the entire paragraph so I copied that entire paragraph tag and I pasted it right after itself and then I know I need to just change this to email and I need to change my merge field to facility email and my little display tag to facility email and 
then I can just save that. And now the original I had extracted. And we can see that it's 1049. 1049 is when it was last modified. So now we can basically just select everything within this folder and send to a compressed zip folder. So I'm just going to name this uh, new file. And then I'm going to go ahead and change it to .docx. And yes, I want to change the extension. And so we can see it's all packaged up into a new file that should now have our new email field based on the original layout of the original file. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And there we can see it. We, we've got email and facility email. Now you'll notice that this isn't spaced correctly. And that's because these are actually tab fields. And we just needed one additional tab field on the email. So again, that's, that's a quick change from here. Um, we actually still have it open, but we could reopen, find our facility email. And you can see here's a tab. Uh, these tabs are actually enclosed in a run field. And just because we're in Notepad++, we select that and it shows us where the beginning is. And so we basically just copy and paste another one of those in there. We'll save it. Go back, select everything except for our new document. And we'll send that to a zipped folder. We'll name this file two dot docx and get rid of the zip extension on there. And now if we open file two, we can see we've got the email and correct spacing. Go ahead and turn those off. And now we've got we maintained our original format um, that was saved in the older version of Microsoft Word. Now when I load this in and use it in the application, everything works as it should. I keep my text boxes. Um, everything works as it's supposed to. So if you need to modify just a, a small piece of a Word document, and you don't want to change the formatting or anything of the existing document, uh, this is the way you can do it kind of behind the scenes. Uh, and it's, it's a pretty straightforward process. The hardest part is, you know, sifting through the XML, finding the correct tags that you need, uh, because the XML syntax does need to be correct. Otherwise, it won't open.